we'll discuss chest radiology spotters a set of 10 in this video many more videos yet to come the spotter will be displayed for 30 seconds and answer will be discussed after each spotter Spotter was a case of CPAM or CCAM, congenital pulmonary airway malformation, in which there is abnormal bronchial proliferation. It's appearing as multicystic lesion on X-ray. Type one and type two appear as multicystic lesions, with or without mediastinal shift. Type three will appear solid on X-ray, and type four is similar to type one on imaging, and it's difficult to differentiate. In this case, we can see multiple variable sized calcified nodules in random distribution. This was a case of varicella pneumonia, which is also one of the differential diagnosis for miliary nodules. So the other differentials for these cases are the ones which will present as miliary nodules. of unilateral hyperlucent lung it's Poland syndrome where there is unilateral absence of pectoralis major and minor muscle this is differential for unilateral hyperlucent hemithorax as seen here pediatric cardiac disease Epstein anomaly in which there is anomalous tricuspid valve usually the x-ray findings are variable or uh, it can be normal also but classic sign described is the box shaped heart which can be seen in this x-ray typical for Epstein anomaly This was a case of constrictive pericarditis. Here we can see calcific pericardial plaques. This thickened pericardium. And causes of this condition, most commonly it's idiopathic infections like TB, sarcoidosis, post-surgical, post-radiotherapy, post-myocardial infarction known as Dressler syndrome, uremia and SLE. This is a common 
clinical scenario in which we can see loculated pleural effusion along the major fissure. We can see the tapering edges which shows that this is fissural effusion also called as phantom tumor. It will be associated with a pleural effusion by blunting of CP angles also. the case of aberrant right subclavian artery now we can see here the right subclavian artery is arising directly as a branch of arch of iota as a fourth branch and moving towards right side so here in our case it's moving posterior to the esophagus in 80 percent of the cases it's posterior to esophagus 15 percent between esophagus and trachea and five percent of the cases it can go anterior to the trachea Here on chest x-ray we can see bilateral perihilar reticular opacities which are symmetrical in nature. This is a case of pneumocystis carini pneumonia. Multiple differential diagnoses are there. There are pneumatoceles which point out towards pneumocystis carini. Otherwise the differential diagnosis will be viral pneumonia, tuberculosis or pulmonary edema etc. This was a simple case, diaphragmatic hernia in which bowel loops are seen in thoracic cavity herniated from the abdominal cavity can be congenital or acquired. Congenital is more common in pediatric cases. see air in left brachiocephalic vein so left brachiocephalic vein joining the SVC most common cause will be iatrogenic for more such videos follow our page radiology doodles on YouTube and Instagram